standing ovation and hugs for New Zealand's former Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. Over the last five and a half years, Ardern has faced some of New Zealand's hardest challenges head on. A domestic terror attack, a volcanic eruption, a pandemic. A series of events where I found myself in people's lives during their most grief-stricken or traumatic moments. Their stories and phases remain etched in my mind and likely will forever. That is the responsibility and privilege of the role of Prime Minister. Ardern, the former head of the Labour Party, governed through the 2019 terrorist attack in Christchurch. A lone gunman opening fire at two different mosques, killing 51 people and injuring dozens more. And through a volcanic eruption on White Island that killed 21 people and left many others with horrific burns. Not to mention the pandemic, her zero tolerance approach to COVID, which shut down New Zealand's borders, initially garnered praise both in New Zealand and internationally. But in a stunning move in January, Ardern decided to call it quits. This has been the most fulfilling five and a half years of my life, but it has also had its challenges. I know what this job takes, and I know that I no longer have enough in the tank to do it justice. It's that simple. Despite being popular abroad, rising inflation, crime and controversial reforms to water and agriculture had chipped away her domestic support during her final year in power. The daughter of a policeman and school canteen operator, 42-year-old Ardern said she wanted her career to inspire others to take office. Whilst wearing a traditional indigenous cloak given to her during her time as leader, she told parliamentarians she would often be too nervous to eat before question time. Now I cannot determine what will define my time in this place, but I do hope I've demonstrated something else entirely, that you can be anxious, sensitive, kind, and wear your heart on your sleeve. You can be a mother or not. You can be an ex-Mormon or not. You can be a nerd, a crier, a hugger. You can be all of these things. And not only can you be here, you can lead just like me. New Zealand's youngest prime minister in over a century stepping down, Chris Hipkins, her successor. Ardern will take on a new unpaid role, helping combat violent online extremism. She'll also join the board of Prince William's Earthshot Prize, awarded for contributions to environmentalism.